Happening later today, the U.S. House will be voting on a bill to cover the health care costs for the first responders of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. This bill came into the public eye last month after emotional testimony in front of a congressional committee from comedian John Stewart. Sick and dying, they brought themselves down here to speak to no one. Stewart's referencing the fact that many members of the committee missed the testimony, including North Dakota's Congressman Kelly Armstrong. Armstrong told our Rob Manch that he was there but stepped out due to a scheduling conflict. And like you said, I had the chance to speak to all of our federal representatives right here in North Dakota about how they plan to vote on that bill. It's an exclusive story that you'll only see here on WDAY. They're clearly heroes, and we should do everything we can to ensure they receive all the care and support that they need. We owe it to all of our first responders and everybody else involved to pay for it. I've co-sponsored legislation because we need to take care of our 9-11 first responders. The unanimous support reflects a trend in Congress over the last month. When it was first introduced, the measure had 21 co-sponsors in the Senate and 92 in the House. Today, it has 71 in the Senate and 332 in the House, making it one of the most widely supported bills of the year. Both Hoven and Kramer joined on after Stewart's speech. With the widespread approval today, it's easy to forget that less than a decade ago, the government didn't even recognize the debris from the Twin Towers was making people sick. They knew the air wasn't safe, notwithstanding what the EPA was saying, but it didn't matter. That was attorney Michael Barish, who represented first responders, speaking back in 2012, when the government first acknowledged the link between debris exposure and cancer, the same cancer that first responder Luis Alvarez was diagnosed with. I have been lucky enough to have had 68 rounds of chemo. Yeah, you, you heard me right. 68 rounds. Two weeks after that testimony, Alvarez died from his disease. This week, the bill was renamed in his honor. This is not a New York issue. This is a national issue, and there's a reason it's called Never Forget. Well, in addition to Hoven and Kramer, Minnesota Congressman Colin Peterson and Senator Tina Smith also signed on as co-sponsors after Stewart's testimony. And at this point, the bill is expected to pass both in the House and the Senate. And that's a vote we're going to watch really close today. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you, Rob.